Greetings! Hello, we have a visitor. This guy. This is Kent. He's got a YouTube channel, Wooden Metal Workshop. You might have seen me wearing the red shirt at the live stream. Same red shirt. He sent it to me. So he's got a YouTube channel. He makes stuff out of wooden metal, welding, machining, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. Big. Some of them are big, too. Go check that out, which is pretty fun. He's going to FabTech? FabTech, 2017. Chicago. FabTech in Chicago. He's, he's from Minnesota. Chicago's in Illinois. All of Wisconsin's in the middle. So he stopped by my place on the way through. First guest ever. If you don't count the time the cat got in here by accident. <laughs> and I found him sleeping on top of my car, that jerk. So what are, what are you going to look for at FabTech? Uh, this year, I'm looking for a couple of things. The big one is I'm going to look at CNC plasma tables. Oh, nice. So there's, uh, I think, four different vendors there mm. this year, the CNC plasma tables, so I'm going to go take a look at all of them. Mm. I, I really want one of those for the shop. That sounds way out of my price range. It's way out of my price range, too. I can afford about another hammer, and then I'm broke, I think. Should be fun. Not that I'm going to jump on immediately, but I want to look at them in person. Yeah. You can only see so much over the internet and go, oh, I want to put my hands on it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it working. Yeah, I've seen that kind of thing with, like, Eastwood tools. You see they're using them, they're making this beautiful Corvair, and then you buy one, and the tool shows up, and you're like, this has Chinese all over it. And it's all nicked up. What happened? They throw it down stairs. You know, you, you buy what you can afford, and, you, yeah. and if you need a tool, I, you need a tool. You know, if you can't afford a big USA-made one or European, hmm. buy the Chinese one, get the job done. And if you make a couple of bucks off of it, and you can always upgrade later when you have more money. So That's true. Sell the Chinese one. In. He had a live stream on this very subject. I feel very strongly about it. Yeah, so uh, and then I'm going to be also looking at abrasives. Hmm. Grinding, grinding discs, I, I look at them every time I go hmm. because they're always coming out with a new little formula. They say, this one will work great for doing this or hmm. doing that. So... It's aluminum oxide to me most of the time, but they they change their glues hmm. and whatnot. So, and they give out free samples. Nice. So that's always good. So, what are you working on right now? Uh, right now, uh, my son's truck, the Ranger that I did the bumpers for, hmm. needs a head gasket. So that's just about done. As soon as hmm. that's done, I'll be back on building a belt grinder. Fun. Yeah, he's making his own tools. I keep talking about making a lathe. He's actually making a belt grinder. Much easier to make a belt grinder. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're much farther along. There, there's no casting. It's just drilling and bolting. So a little bit of lathe work. Yeah. See, I don't have a lathe. I can't do that. Well, you can order the parts. Let's see. Need more questions. Should have prepared for this. <laughs> what do you think of my shop? I like your shop. It's, it's much, much smaller and less equipped. Smaller and less equipped, but you've got everything you need to do the job that you're mm. doing. So, and it's all organized. You can find all your stuff. I can. Uh, me, I, yeah. I, sometimes I'm looking for, through drawers for five or six minutes to find a tool. I'll, I'll, pretend, I'll pretend it was this organized and I totally didn't clean up today because I knew you were coming. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the truth. So now for you guys out there, I've seen the pretty much finished foundry furnace. It looks gorgeous. You're going to have to wait for it. I've seen the almost finished Jeep. You're going to have to wait for it. I am so lucky. It's, uh, it was a little drizzly today. I was going to fire up the furnace. It's, uh, it's too drizzly. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to run that when it's, when it's raining. Something about steam explosions and death and mayhem that aren't real fun. The Jeep is, you might be able to see part of it, not painted yet, but that's pretty much all there is left. Yeah, it, so, looks, it looks really good. There, there's a time delay between doing stuff and publishing videos, so uh, probably can't do that right. I can't do time delay in person. Haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Spending space and time, not really, not really in my area as of yet. Well, if you do figure it out, let me know how to do it because I got so much to do yeah. and not enough time. I know that feeling. Either that or cloning. Clo yeah. I could use three or four of me. Uh, so what, in the future, near future, what is a project you want to do? I got a whole list. Yeah. But, uh, one that's being pressed on me by my son, Colton, you've seen him in some of my videos. If mm. you check my channel, Colton's been in a few videos. He wants a uh, bandsaw mill. Hmm. So I think we're in the spring we're going to build a bandsaw mill. I've got a secret project on my channel that I haven't told anybody on my channel about uh, other than showing a little bit of uh, the materials coming, but I'll let you in on it. Yeah. i got uh, some, about half the materials I need right now hmm. for a... Uh, That'll be cool. Oh, right. I'm building a new uh, forge too, hmm. pro propane forge. Coal Forge, I just don't have enough time for it. Yeah. I'd be able to turn it on, do stuff, turn it off, and walk away. 
I'll, I'll do propane for it eventually. I promise. Hey, he's got the parts for it. So. I do. I, I they're, they're all over here, including a sweet burner that I didn't make, so you know it'll work. Yeah, you probably lived through it too.